Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So it is now April. We can hopefully start doing some drilling today. Let's just first of all take a look at the calendar. So the calendar is just here. And yes, we can put in all of these crops here, which are in the green. We're looking to do corn and we're looking to do sorghum. So yes, we are in April. The blue line is here, but yeah, we can do corn. And sorghum is just here, also April. But yeah, we are in April. So uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to be able to do that without any problems. How are we doing for used machinery? Let's take a look. We have three very good pieces of equipment here. It would be so nice to have this. Uh, what kind of horsepower? 175. So that is sort of the equivalent of what we already have. But that would be a very nice tractor to have in the game. Uh, that one there requires 350 horsepower. That would be amazing. And the baler, yeah, the baler is a good buy, but we already have one. So anyway, we're going to start the episode by hopefully finding a collectible or two, because I have been told that there are two collectibles very close to places I've already been. And that was the rule. We don't just go out looking for them unless it's a place I've been very close to. So anyway, the first one is near to the water fill point over here, which I visited probably 20 times. Uh, we'll take the pickup truck. It's going to be so much easier. Yeah, so I've always gone down here. I'm told by my viewers that if I was to cross the lake, we would find something, a collectible. So let's see if I can find it. It must be this little island here, I'm guessing. Swim across. You see, I would never have found it accidentally because I've never crossed here before. I think you can actually access this area though from the other side. Yes, it's not actually an island. It just looks like an island. So, yeah, let's see what we can find on here. Ah! There is indeed a collectible. Well, I never doubted it. Okay, then, so let's pick that up. It's £50,000. If we do find another one, that's going to be 100 But, although, yeah, very decent amount of money, it's not going to be hanging around for long. I want to buy the JCB telehandler, I want to buy a new water tanker, and obviously I have loads of other stuff as well, like a new tractor. Lots of stuff that we need. Lots of stuff that I'd like to have. But we can't just afford everything all in one go. Now the other one was the bakery. And I really don't know if I'm going to be able to find this one. It's going to be interesting. But yeah, we don't want to spend too long doing this. So yeah, as for the actual farming activities today, yeah, we're going to do lots of drilling hopefully. But yeah, we're going to have to just see what else there is to do. Hopefully quite a bit. And that's the other thing which we need. More land. It'd be so nice to have more land. So, I think I keep going along here. I have visited the bakery before. I think. Haven't I? Or maybe I haven't. Maybe I shouldn't be here at all. <laughs> um, yes, but I, I've seen the comments saying that there is something close to here, but I don't know where. So, um, I guess I should just... What happened here? There is a stick of bread, which seems to have come down from space and impacted the ground. <laughs> like an Easter egg or something. Wow. Destructive bread. Must have been an attack of sticks of bread at some point. Oh, look at that. So nice. Okay, well, um, might not find it. Let's just see. Aha! Now this was possibly not the one which somebody mentioned because it's quite a distance from the bakery and I have really gone out of my way here to find this which is against my little rule which I made but anyway not to worry um, we have found Wheat Gobbler I'm going to put these both into the uh, computer so there we go that's enough collectible hunting for one day we don't want to make a million pounds <laughs> which is what you do make if you find them all and yeah we'll um, I think we'll buy the tanker. We really do need the water tanker, quite desperately. It would be good to get the JCB as well, but yeah, that's pushing it. I think actually maybe we would be able to afford it, but maybe it's better to put the money into a field? I don't know. Although, yeah, fields, all that would just consume all the money we currently have. They are not cheap. 
so it might be better just to get a tanker and possibly the JCB telehandler or maybe the forklift because the forklift is cheaper I do want to have both eventually though yeah it would make sense actually to wait for the JCB because then we could potentially get it in the used machinery cell it's a much more expensive machine than this one and yeah we don't really need it desperately until we do another silage uh, session because it's just vital for selling the silage, for picking it all up and putting it into the trailer. So anyway, yeah, let's buy this. The uh, I, I might have pronounced it correctly, but the, the Young Heinrich uh, looks really good. It's going to be very handy for moving around our pallets. £55,000. So there we go. I doubt it's going to be able to tow our tanker. It's going to have to go on a dolly. Uh, we have how much money left? 136 so we can afford it quite comfortably. It's going to be a great help because we're always consuming water. We consume water on a mass scale daily. Uh, animals. And we're going to sell the old one. So it's £68,000. I would have loved to get it used, but clearly it's not going to come up. Oh, chrome. I do like stainless steel though. I'm a big fan of it. Chrome looks good. So maybe we should just go for chrome. I'll go for stainless steel. Well, it would be silver, wouldn't it? Uh, no, we'll go. Let's just go chrome throughout. Seventy-two thousand pounds. I know it is expensive. We are spending a lot of money here, uh, but hopefully the sale of the old tanker will cover the price of the dolly. Let's just see what dollies we have. Uh, they're going to come under here. Uh, I think it's the same one as FS19, if I'm not mistaken. But we can put different wheels on it, which does differentiate it a bit. I uh, quite like the Michelin ones actually. Yep, let's go for that. And yes, ideally it, it would have been great to have a lorry, um, but again, we're going to have to wait for that to either come up used or until we have loads of money we can't afford it. And uh, yes, I seriously doubt... Well, maybe it would fit actually. It might fit. What kind of... Oh no, it doesn't look to be the same attachment. No. Well, it would have looked crazy anyway. And really, this should be going on the back of a trailer. But even this is going to be extremely heavy. These things are really heavy. I think in the UK, if we were to put this on the trailer on the pickup, we would be going overweight legally, I think. I don't know for sure. But these things are deceptively heavy because of all the counterweights. They have to lift quite a lot on the front. So let's just drive it back. Oh, we've got a nice flashing strobe. Got lots of lights. LED. LED lights by the look of it. Yes, this is going to be so handy. The other thing is because this is a battery forklift, we are going to have to also install a battery recharging station. So, um, yeah, it's not crucial at this stage because it's got a full battery life, but um, well, full, full charge, but it'll probably, probably get through it in a couple of hours. I don't know, actually, how quickly do they get through it? I really don't know. No, you'd have thought they would be designed to go all day. Yeah, I must be able to get a few hours on it first, I'd have thought. But forward planning, let's just see how much they actually cost. It's going to be in... Here. Oh, it's not even that expensive. We might as well just place it then. Because uh, otherwise... Well, it's not like I'm going to run out of money, actually. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll place it. Uh, we'll put it somewhere out of the way. Maybe near the house. We could make a little... Um, Let's see here, we could put a little uh, pull in here. Or we could just put it over here. That might be okay. There we go. £5,000. Yes, this is going to be a really handy forklift to have. It also means I can now set my greenhouses to actually uh, produce pallets instead of just automatically selling. Uh, because that way we make more money. The lettuce in particular I think would be a good idea. Maybe not the tomatoes at this stage. So let's just go on to large greenhouse lettuce. And you can see we're currently set to selling. We want to change the output mode to storing. And it should all appear outside. Good. Yes, this is going to really change everything. This is going to be so nice. The egg pallets can be picked up by hand. So we don't need the forklift for that. But we will need it for the pallets here and also probably for the fertilizer as well. So yeah, we'll be using this very soon. 
so nice to have it on the farm. But for now, let's just very, very quickly go into the garage, take a look at these two video game cartridges, and then we'll take a tractor over to the store to pick up our tanker. So that was one which we picked up a few days ago. That's a new one. Wheat Gobbler. And that's one we've seen. Here's the other one. What does it say? Pe Pezd. Pezd Control. Okay, so there we go. That's what we have so far. And it's actually changing the cartridges on the bench, which is quite a nice idea. Okay then, right. It's now April. We can probably change our clothes just a little bit. Not too much. And we'll get the Vulture Tractor. Take it over to the store. Oh yeah, and that class trailer should be moved. Yeah, we'll move the class trailer soon because we've got the tanker on the back currently with one litre in it. We will not waste this one litre despite it being free. We shall dispense it into here. Which will probably increase the production time by about 30 seconds. I think the Massey Ferguson tractor could do with a repair. This tractor's not desperate for it. Uh, so we'll probably just hold off repairing this one for now. But the tanker, we can sell this for £6,105. Which isn't much, but it helps. I think it's only 9000 something new, so we haven't really had that much depreciation. Now, because of the size of this thing, it's going to be obviously very, very heavy when it's full. So I'm going to take it to my usual water filling point. We can't really go anywhere steep with this, otherwise I am almost certainly going to get it stuck. I know that many of my viewers want this to be washed. So do I. We do need a pressure washer. I suppose finding two collectibles today is a good enough excuse to buy one. Uh, but yeah, we are going to get through our money fairly quickly. Anyway, I'll see you over at the lake. The reason why I tend to go for the stainless steel over the chrome, this being chrome, uh, is because of the reflection. The reflection is nice. However, it looks like it's not reflecting much really behind us. It looks like there's a wheat field and a ploughed field behind us. It looks like we're actually in a cultivated field. But obviously we're on the road. So I, I really don't know how hard it would be for giants to change that to actually reflect the real world. Maybe there is an option. Maybe I've just overlooked an option. But it would be super nice, like ETS2. Okay, so we can't go anywhere too steep. This should be fine. I, I think we'll be able to get out of here. It will take a little while to fill. It's, it's quite big. There we go. If we get in the right gear, we should be fine. Okay, it's in medium. Let's just knock it down to low. Yes, this was the concern. <laughs> um, I don't think a lorry would have done it any better, though, because you don't exactly put lorries in lakes. A bigger tractor would do it. Okay, speed and power seems to be the only option here. Come on, speed and power, you can do it. Yes! Yes, it's done it. We are out. Good. Okay. So uh, let's get back over to the farm. Uh, obviously, we need to rethink things here. I, I just need a bigger tractor. I think it probably would be wiser to keep this on a dolly, just with a bigger tractor. And now we should be able to get back to the farm without any problems. But yeah, it is heavy. We could just not fill it as much, but that defeats the object of buying the bigger tanker. We'll be able to get into the field soon and start doing some drilling and some planting. We're going to have to use both tractors. I just hope that we can do it today. Maybe we should move on another day just to be certain. 
but it's going to work. Because it's not like we have... Actually, no, the, the vineyard is growing. So that will need attention fairly soon. Uh, well, it is April. It said April. So we should be fine. I'll just go and give some to the other greenhouse. And then also we'll give some to the sheep. And then we'll have to uh, park this thing up until next time. Yeah, this tractor's struggling. So that is the priority then. Next big purchase, a bigger tractor. Can't be too picky. It's going to be whatever comes up in the used machinery market, but it can't be too big uh, or too expensive because it has to be compatible with the tools that we have. Okay, there we go. Park that there. Empty the water. You don't have to get very close for it to work. That's good. And we're going to park this somewhere, probably just in the middle of the grass. Maybe just over here. Good. Right, so first things first, what we need to do is get a planter. And also this tractor needs to be taken off this trailer. We need to take the front loader off and it needs to go onto our drill. And also if we sell those eggs over there, I wonder if we can expand the vineyard for this year's harvest. That would be very nice to see. Hopefully by the end of this episode, we'll be able to expand the vineyard. So yeah, my drill is not exactly large. But we do have quite a bit of time, so yes. If we if we go over to the store. Do we have any seed? Oh maybe we do have some seed actually. We've got some seed there. That'll be good. And we also have this seed here. This industrial forklift, by the way, is not really for doing the seed. It is for moving the pallets from the greenhouses. But it can do them if they're low enough. We'll have to open up the seed drill and ideally lower it. There we go. Lovely. Uh, yes, I don't think the bag will be able to uh, go on this because it's going to be too low. But we can certainly take it over to it. This is why I need the JCB telehandler for doing the seed. The one thing which we won't need again is the front loader on the tractor. Because the telehandler would do all this sort of stuff, this machine would do the greenhouses, meaning we really don't need a tractor and a front loader. Okay, so we are full, and we need to be changing the crop type to sorghum. There we go. We can set this off on a worker, and then I'm going to get the planter on the Valdra. And we're going to do that field just over there, but like I said, we are not going to do the bit that comes up to the chicken coop, because that, if everything goes to plan, is going to be an extension to the vineyard. Oh, my eggs! Almost run over them. So, yeah, we don't really need to have the rear wheels, but we've got them. I'm just going to do a headland first of all. Uh, we don't need to do a headland on the far side, since the worker has got plenty of space to turn around. It's just here. It's going to detect the trees and then go a bit crazy. Yeah, this tractor really is in desperate need of a repair. Eight thousand six hundred and forty-seven pounds. There's nothing I can do about it. It has to be done. Almost nineteen thousand pounds for repaints, which we're not going to spend. <laughs> no way. Uh, it just needs a clean, actually. Anyway, as we're here, we'll also get the planter. So the planter is going to be well, unsurprisingly, in the planter category. <laughs> uh, let's just find it here. Uh, now I did go for this one last time. It was really good. It cost me £4,500 to rent, but that's for a big field, so we don't need to have anything like that this time. We can go smaller if it makes sense financially. Um, yep, that should be fine. Yeah, that's fine. So that's only 2754 I don't know how much seed we have left. 
don't know if it's going to be worth buying anymore. Probably... Oh, I don't know. It probably is. don't know if I should keep my wheels on. It would make sense for compaction. Reduce compaction. Um, yes, yeah, man. We also need some fertilizer. We've got some fertilizer. Probably not enough. Amazingly, we got through all that fertilizer I bought. It was quite incredible. Let's go for one bag of fertilizer and one bag of seed. As it turns out, I probably should have kept the forklift here because we could have put these onto the trailer and, um, yes, taken them back. But yeah, look at that. It doesn't really have a very large capacity, especially for fertilizer. Anyway, yes, we can now do some planting and some drilling. I'm doing the planting with the voucher. This tractor is going to be on the drill doing the sorghum. So I'll put this here for the voucher tractor to attach to. We do already have a front weight on that, so that's good. Looks like it might be required. And then a worker can take over with the sorghum. Um, yes, it's going to take some time, but it's always amazing. Whenever I set something off on a worker, uh, the time always seems to fly. It seems to just get the job done in no time. So, um, yeah, it's probably about the right size for this field, amazingly. We might have to give it some more seed at some point. But with a bit of luck, it's going to get it done with no problems. And then when we have done this, we will also sell the eggs. Should be quite impressive, the income from the eggs. So I just need to be careful about where I do go up to. We don't want to be destroying any of the crop that I have drilled. Oh, that's going wide than I thought. Yeah, it's actually a really good working width. If one of these came up in the used machinery sale, I would buy it. There's many things I would buy. So let's just go across here, because it's going to be a bit tight here. And this is going to be... I would say most likely harvested with the combine, not the forager. Yeah, let's, let's just go straight up to here. Stop when we get level with the fence. It's a natural stopping point, so that's where the vineyard is hopefully going to go up to. I can't get over how many eggs we have there. We only sold them in the previous episode. It is so good. This is where it gets a little bit trickier. Staying in a straight line. Well, actually, I don't have GPS or anything, so maybe it's worth putting it on a worker just for this one run, just to guarantee the, the straightness. Because it will stick on the line which we give it. Looking absolutely fantastic. So, yep, yeah, to the left of the tractor, our left, we have the vineyard extension. To the right, we're going to have a lovely corn crop. So, I'll continue now, getting it all done. Almost finished. So in case you're wondering what I was doing, I was trying to get the fertilizer out. Since this area here used to be grass, which means it's already naturally fertilized. So applying it, it was still applying it, but it was completely pointless. It was a total waste since it's already fully fertilized, as you can see on the map here. So uh, yeah, best just to go with the seed, because it still works with just the seed. We can keep the fertilizer for something else. That's the reason why we have two different texture colours. One is the original ploughed area, and this lighter area is the grass. So I think there's a little bit, yeah, there's a little uh, margin here, so we'll just go up here again. Then I can take the seed out, and I'll have to return this. 
and then we'll get the pickup truck with the trailer, we'll put the eggs into the trailer. It's going to be quite a few pallets, and then we'll take them over to the sale point. Hopefully the price is really good. It's usually quite good. Yes, it's only just below 5,000. I usually say 5,000 is the lowest I'd want to go. I think it can peak up to about 6. That would be very good. But yeah, normally about 5.5 is what I sell them at. But since we are producing so many now, I don't think we need to be too concerned. I only have one concern, and that is the food. They're getting through so much food. And that is the exact reason why we're doing a full field of sorghum. Just to feed to the chickens. We're not selling it, because uh, these things are getting through a serious amount. And I think we're going to have to buy some chicken food, sadly, uh, before harvest time, because they're going to run out. Okay then, so let me just return this. Take the seed out there. Now get the pickup truck. We'll go and collect up all the pallets. And we'll take them over to the farm shop, if that is the best place to think it was. But still expect to get a serious amount of money today. Because we do have a great deal of eggs and the price is still not too bad. Okay then, so we have, first of all, our smaller chicken enclosure, just half a pallet there. But it was a good effort. Well done chickens, thank you so much. Because we only have 30 here. And we have 360 over here. Which is uh, remarkable. I like this area, it's really nice. And when we've turned the uh, soil there into a vineyard, it'll be even better. And these eggs will fund the vineyard. So we'll just get them all picked up. Put into there nice and neatly. We don't want any omelettes being created en route. It's happened before. <laughs> Many times. And uh, yeah, perfect. Perfect fit, but the straps seem to go underneath. Um, well, I guess you can't really strap them, can you? Good thinking, Giants. If you put a strap over the top of the eggs, you just crack them all, because uh, they are just exposed. Uh, but yeah, they shouldn't move around too much. They really shouldn't. Yep, yeah, farm shop, I know where that is. So, prepare for a decent amount of money coming very soon. Yes, yeah, so we possibly do have another collectible in this sort of area. I think I didn't pick up the one which I was supposed to pick up. Uh, which is good, in a way, because it means there's another one very close to us just there. I think the way I'm going about the collectibles now is the best way. If you go out and collect all of them, you just have too much money, you can pretty much buy anything. But just collect one every now and then, just to assist the farm just keep things moving nicely. Okay, here we go. They do take a little while to sell because it sells each box individually. Or each stack individually. It's a sea of eggs. Brilliant. Really good. 27,796 and that should actually be about the right amount of money to expand the vineyard. It's about £12,000 a row, we'll probably get two or three rows. So if it's two, yeah, that's going to cover it. Three, it will still be a great help. Bad news, very bad news. Somehow the chickens have got through all the food I gave them already. Uh, they weren't supposed to do this until about May, I suppose it is April. So we have to buy food. And this will be the last time we ever do it, because we're going to keep so much sorghum, it should very, very comfortably get them through the winter. And then we'll just keep growing crops for the chickens every year after that. So, oh, that is so bad. Um, this is the big chicken coop that's empty. The small one has six litres left, so they're okay. Just, uh, just enough time uh, for us to get some more purchased. But if you've seen the prices before for the chicken food... It is uh, not good. £1,400. I've just looked, and that actually is the sort of money we can make from wheat, which is interesting, because uh, I think the chicken food used to always be priced much higher. Uh, so that's good. We can get £1,500 for a 1,000 litres over at the train station. So this is actually cheaper than that. 
How much do we spend, though? How much do we need to get us to harvest? Bearing in mind we have almost 400 chickens. I don't think we get any kind of bulk discount, because that, just that is £11,200. Oh, I don't want to overbuy. But I don't really see what we can do here. We're just going to have to. Just this once. And it's not too hard to get a thousand... Ten thousand pounds back. <laughs> uh, yeah, quite expensive. That's going well. It's going very well. So we are indeed going to need this forklift. So yeah, it's not going to cover the two new vines, but it is going to cover one and a bit. Uh, but we have to expect these expenses at the moment, in the early stages. But like I said, that's the reason why we're growing our own food. It's the best way to do it. Uh, so yeah, this isn't really designed to pick up the bug bags, it's designed to pick up the pallets. Uh, so if I put the sides down, it'll make it easier. Let's see here. Sides, left mouse button, left and right. There we go. So that's going to help a bit. Yep, that's actually really good. So if I was square, <laughs> that would have been perfect. Uh, I will load these up in a time lapse, don't worry. It will allow me to focus and it will look better in the end. And here we are back at the farm. This has been so good and I just couldn't believe we could pick up four. This is my point earlier about these things being really heavy. Picked up four of the big bags. And it did it fine, it was nowhere near unstable. So yeah, let's put these into here. This after all is my fertilizer and seed store. They probably should be separated but not to worry. Put them a bit close to the wall, don't want to spear the wall. And we have another bag over here. And then we can bring the trailer back with all the food. And we might as well just give them everything because, yeah, in the future, we won't be needing the purchased food. Whoops. <laughs> uh, I've never done that before. Actually, I suppose the drill is going to need this. And you can see we have a lettuce pallet over there which has just spawned. Very good to see. We'll gradually start putting them onto our flatbed trailer, just here. Uh, yeah, so how much of that field has been done? We can't really go in the field with this forklift. It's not really designed for that sort of thing. Uh, but it is here for when we need it. Oh, it's still got over half a tank. In that case, we might have enough, possibly. So, into the pickup truck, let's put the sides up. If we can do, squeeze it all together. <laughs> Uh, it looks quite neat. Probably should put some straps over. That's a good load. And we probably do need the forklift to empty it again. I'm not sure. I don't think just driving up to the unloading point is going to be enough. It might be, but I doubt it. I think we'll have to pick them up and put them over the trough. This also is probably way too heavy legally for the pickup <laughs> in the UK. Okay, so let's just pass it closely first of all. Oh, it did work. Wow. I did not expect that. So just those took 10%. In that case, I would expect these ones to take all of it quite easily. Uh, yes, this might be different, not too sure because it goes into the silo. Chickens, we have a big delivery for you. Is that going to empty? It is! So those bags are going to start disappearing because I would expect it to take probably all of it. 
it's in emptying underneath. In a way, it'd be good if they do take it all, because it just gets rid of the bags. There's two more. Now for these ones. Yeah, almost certainly going to take it all. And the final bag. Yep, that is empty. You can see it just <laughs> going through the wheel. There we go. So let me just take a look in the uh, animal category now. Should be looking much healthier. Therefore, and this one is almost full. Not bad. Uh, and that will certainly be enough to keep them going until harvest. Right, so finishing off with the vineyard. Something which I wanted to do earlier, but obviously we couldn't do. I won't stand too close. Just in case it uh, doesn't let me construct it with me so you see, because we can actually see our own farmer here. Uh, we don't want to get in the way. So, production, orchards, grapevine. And we need to be as close as possible. Go all the way to the end. We are cutting in a bit here for some reason. Maybe it's for the best. Don't want to be out of bounds, although I don't think it would plant it out of bounds if it's an issue. We'll go to there. Because uh, the whole field is not square, I don't think. And now for this one. It's going to be quite a few, actually. It's a much bigger space than I thought. That's annoying. We're going to be wasting land. I think we'll have to start coming out again. And we're going to run out of money at this rate. But at least it is an extension. It's something. We'll go again. <laughs> it's going to make it look so much nicer too. This one does seem to naturally want to bend outwards. It won't go inwards. So that has to go to there. Um, and then... Well, I don't know if there is space for another one because we do need to get machines through. It looks like there might just about be. That is so close. Oh no, it doesn't. It does not like me being close to the fence. So that will have to be an access route. In that case, we'll just paint the ground. If we paint it, well, it could still be grass. Yeah, there's no harm in it being grass. Change the brush size. Make it look nicer. There we go. And then we're entering this field. I notice there is a bit of soil on the end of here. Probably improve the look of that. There we go. And the same over at this side. Because of the way I was cutting in. Just try and make it not look like a field. And that does indeed leave another strip. I think it would make sense to put a grass strip in because we need to be able to travel back to the yard. Um, but yes, as it turns out, we probably could have done our drilling, our planting a bit closer. Possibly. This has been nerve wracking. I've been trying to do it neatly without going over. But I think I've achieved it. So, what's that like? Yeah, that's actually not too bad at all. We have more vines for this year's grape harvest. A nice neat edge. Yes, I'm very happy with this. I think we will keep it as grass. We won't plough this up again. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So, next time, we are going to have to get the mulch going. Mulch between the vines. Cultivate between the vines. Possibly spray. Spray fertiliser. Uh, not sure, because I know that I think the cultivation and the mulching is an, a yield increase rather than the fertiliser stage. So yeah, I think we do have to spray it, although I might be wrong there. Please do feel free to correct me if I am wrong. I'm learning as well. Hello, bird. And yeah, it's all looking very, very promising. So, I'll leave this tractor going, but this just proves that we do need a bigger drill. Taking absolutely forever. I thought it was doing well to begin with, but no, it seems to be very slow. So before we end, any more machines? Yes, we have one more thing here. Uh, 
This is a spader. It can be used instead of a plow. I don't think we need it, but still an interesting machine. That would have been nice too, but as I said, it's just an equivalent to what we already have. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.